I had a girl once. She's gone. I had a dog too. He didn't understand. He bit me one time. And yeah, I had a ship. That's when it all started. There's no good or bad. You don't ask no questions. Hard case, are we, sir? Everything you've ever known is gone. Leave it. Walk away. Fractions, equations, right, wrong, heaven, hell. Forget it. Forget everything. There's no yesterday or tomorrow. All you want is a piece of the action. And everyone wants a piece of you. What are they gonna say when all this is over? You think they like you? You think they wanna be your friend? You can't trust anyone. Because they don't trust you. They don't understand when you do something wrong. They want you to pay for it. Future used to be something to look forward to. It's a crock of shit. There's a war going on out there. And it ain't easy. Hello everyone, my name is Tea Leaf and welcome to my Let's Play of Hard War. Now, Hard War is quite an old game and it didn't sell very well on release, so not many people have heard of it. It pretty much sunk into obscurity and its developer liquidated about four years after the game came out. I'm not sure if it was because of the game's failure, but it, I'm sure it was at least a contributing factor. Now, I don't think this game deserved to die the way it did. And I don't think it got any of the recognition it deserved, because it was a great game. It's just that no one played it. No one even heard of it. Most people, it just slipped most people by. And I think that's sad, so I wanted to sort of honour this game. And the only way I could think of doing that was either by remaking it, which I'm not really capable of doing on my own, or just doing a Let's Play, because that's easier, and at least it sort of documents it. I mean, YouTube will be around for the next million years. I'm sure this will just be on their database forever. Anyway, let's get into the game. I will name myself Tea Leaf, obviously. Let's go. I have to choose my starting equipment here, but before I do, I should probably explain a bit about this game so it makes sense to you. Hard War is a lot like a space simulator. It has a lot of the features of a space simulator, like trading, um... You know, you can be a bounty hunter, you can be a pirate. There's sort of a semi-simulated economy. Actually, it's very it's a pretty advanced economy actually for a video game. Even for its even by today's standard, it's pretty advanced. It's more advanced than certainly something like uh like hmm I'm trying to think of a big open world game that tries to tries to simulate this topic. Like uh, Skyrim or something. Um the sort of world simulation is a bit more advanced than that in terms of AI. Anyway, but you're not in space. As much as it's like a space game, you're not in space. You're actually on a planet's surface. You still fly around in a ship, but uh, you're not in space. You're on the planet. You're not on a planet, actually. What am I talking about? You're on Titan, which is one of Saturn's moons, in a sort of uh, abandoned, well, not abandoned, neglected mining colony called... Uh, misplaced optimism and it's a colony built in like a series of craters so you're essentially indoors for most of the game like you're in big caves effectively I mean they are craters but you can't fly out of them you can't get above the the uh, edge of the crater so you are effectively in like loads of caves anyway um, you can choose to play as a trader a scavenger an aggressor an agitator a godfather a corrupt cop or a dealer now Trader, you're basically better equipped to trade, obviously. You start off with a cargo pod, and that's basically it in terms of advantages that you get. Um, and you'll be expected to like buy stuff cheap from a like a supplier of that item and sell it to someone that needs it for a profit. 
Uh, I, that doesn't appeal to me, but I understand why some people would be intrigued by that. You would, well, you would still be expected to fight as a trader because this planet is pretty lawless, and if you, people see that you're carrying valuable items, they will just kill you for it if they can. Scavenger, you start with a small cargo pod and a salvage drone. So you can, you're basically equipped to. I suppose you could actually perform the same job as a trader, really. But you're basically equipped to um, fly around, look for um, sites where people, where other pilots have been shot down, and basically steal the stuff that they drop. So when when someone gets killed in the game, they generally drop a bit of scrap metal and whatever cargo they were carrying. Scavenger, you just need to be the first in there and steal all that stuff. I don't really know why you'd want to play scavenger as a playstyle because you could just play um, like any other playstyle and then. You know, whenever it suits you, you can scavenge. You just when you see an opportunity. Next um, startup equipment is aggressor. You start with a plasma cannon, a laser, ten swarm missiles, and some flares. Uh, oh, and you also start with two level uh, level two shields and power management. Which uh, so basically, aggressor, you're fully fitted out for combat straight away. Uh, you're still in the starting ship, so you're not. Um, you know, you're not going to be brilliant, but you're much better than the rest of the loadouts. You will have... Like, you don't start off with the ability to carry cargo, though, so you do have to rely purely on your fighting skills early on. Fortunately, though, it's quite easy to come by um, money as an aggressor. You can be a bounty hunter for the police, you can join in faction wars and get paid by the faction you decide to side with, or you can just be a douchebag and kill uh, traders, steal their stuff, and sell it for yourself. Uh, you can also be an agitator which is basically an upgraded aggressor uh, but I think that makes the game a bit too easy. You can be a godfather which means you start with like lots of wealth and power but you don't start with a um, very good ship so you're going you're gonna to be a little bit vulnerable early on. Corrupt cop is basically the other way around. You start with a really good ship and nothing else and a dealer you start with a, like a fully functional business but you don't start with much else. So I believe these are either for advanced players or people that want to skip the first like couple of hours of the game, and I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Aggressor. Message received. Now this is the uh, screen you get when you're in a hangar. Every sort of building in the game is a hangar. You just park it in here and this menu appears, and this is how you interact with a hangar. So I can launch, which basically just sends me back out into the world, and get out my moth which there's not much point in right now. You can use public transport from here. That's about it. Uh, you might wonder why you'd want to use public transport. Basically to avoid people trying to kill you. Like, it's a lot safer to take a monorail than fly about in the open. But, you know, you will still have to come back to get your moth if you want to fly it around. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The ships in this game are called moths. You'll see why later, but if I keep referring to moths, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get back in my moth. Uh, next we have the messages screen, so we have two messages at the moment. I'll just read these out. <clears throat> this is from Hardwarp FM, who are meant to be like a sort of radio station, but they do just communicate by email. Uh, I don't really get it, but, you know, it doesn't matter. The Lazarus family are doing their level best to get the old mass drivers in the port district operational. They have been out of commission for 120 years, around the time we lost contact and support from the company. Go along and give them a cheer. Don't expect any miracles, though. So, yeah, I should probably explain a little bit of lore about the game that you're already supposed to know. Uh, this is the sort of thing that would be on the manual or on, like, the CD case. Like, the game just assumes you know this. It doesn't it's try and explain it. Basically, um... Moon you're on Titan, it was sort of where a um, mining sort of operation was based, and it was funded by these big companies, and they sort of moved all their staff and all the workers onto this moon, set up like, you know, facilities, factories, that sort of thing. But about 200 or so years ago, the money dried up, and the companies just buggered off, basically. And they didn't leave you with any way of getting off the planet yourselves, they, didn't, they just left. They didn't. They did, basically didn't want to pay for everyone to go back to Earth because they just left you here, and you're trapped basically with no way off the planet. And apparently, these mass drivers might be the answer, but it seems doubtful. So yeah, 
and your civilization is basically based on the is basically descended from the sort of trapped miners and um, workers that were left here. And we also have a job offer from Lazarus HQ. We are always willing to reward independent flyers who can eliminate moths belonging to our rivals. Clamp G. So there's two factions in the game, Lazarus and Clamp G. They're constantly fighting. If you kill a Lazarus moth, you'll be awarded money by Clamp G and vice versa. Uh, I don't think you can actually join these factions, but you can just sort of work for them. And they're both important to the plot, but... Um, you know, they play quite a big role outside of the story as well. They're more powerful than the police, by the way, so pissing them off can be a wrong move to make, especially early in the game. So you can also access the computer, which just accesses whatever services are available. So you can you can get on a monorail, basically. Um, here, because we are in a monorail station. Also, navigation screen, which you can access even when you're not in a hangar. And I can just look at local services, um, nearby pilots. Actually, this is pilots I've target in the, targeted in the last. Um, all the people I've targeted last. So if I target someone and I'm following him, but then I target someone else to like fight him, and then I want to get back on chasing that guy, I can find him in here. Same with buildings, all buildings you target, and then. Oops, Radar range is obviously being some radar range, but I'm inside, so my radar doesn't work. Anyway, I can find local services from here, so I can go to... I want to go to the police station to look at the wanted list. Before I leave, I'm going to save it, because you need to save pretty obsessively in this game, because it doesn't save for you. And if you die, you basically lose all of your um, progress. So I think I'll save every time I visit a hangar. Okay, now if you've played this game before, you will notice the graphics are considerably better in this version. That's because I've applied the community patch. Uh, the community patch also added all those starting options. You originally only have three. Um, but yeah, it basically, in the original hardware, you can't see... like You can see for about like 50 meters, maybe. And then the game's too foggy to see past that. I think it's just so they didn't want to render much. But in this, uh, in this version you can see quite far and the, it's a lot brighter. It does actually change the atmosphere a lot, which um, I'm not quite sure I like. But I think I, um, I mainly installed the mod, the uh, patch to get this to record at a decent resolution because uh, the game unpatched, it crashes when you are trying to uh, play it at a high resolution. And I was basically having to stretch my... Um, my footage up to pretty big size and it was it looked a bit horrible. So anyway, let's look at the wanted list. And they have a rating, they have and they have the reward. So rating is basically how tough they're gonna be, but they're all quite easy to kill, to be honest. In a one-on-one -on -one fight you're pretty much unbeatable in this game. You only have to worry when you're mobbed by like three or four people. So let's just go after Bill Bottle. Let's just launch. 